Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, fourth and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 30th of April. And we will be able to extend out beyond that with the Exergy Affairs and ECM Ensembles. We will have a good weeks. We'll have a look at the CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. Gets into the second half of May. And I shall get on back for you in a moment. Just to say that the first video we say was our 6 MBK weather forecast. We've also released the weekend forecast, the EC42 day. It's all out there, so please like, share, and subscribe. So to everybody for uh, doing that. And hope you're having a lovely Saturday as well, everyone. Right, let's start our central temperature. The CT is at 10.6 at the moment. Uh, 2.7 degrees above 61 to 19.8 average. I think that will continue to uh, fall over the next few days as the weather remains generally in a cool phase. So I imagine next week we will go somewhere into the nines there. We shall see. Beta with GFS, upgrade temperature and precipitation ensembles in the next couple of weeks. We're going to Exeter today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Exeter. We're starting off below average at the moment. And we'll be staying below average for the next week as well. Into the first week of May, we find that the upper air temperatures are recovering back closer to normal. Although, nothing particularly to get excited about. Precipitation wise, not dry weather over the next few days. Not completely dry. Um, there will be some showery bursts around at times, particularly actually for eastern regions. Um, oh, uh, quite a bit of dry weather though until we get to the end of next week. But then maybe more unsettled towards the end of April, the last days, day, day or two of the month. Much more in weather precipitation spikes, and those are lasting into the beginning of May. So we might be seeing signs of return to wetter conditions yet again. Unfortunately, as we uh, push on into the closing days of April and the first week or so of May. But it's quite a long way off, so it's a bit unreliable. But um, the modelling, and you'll see it in a moment, is suggesting that eventually we are going to see low pressure, going to see low pressure coming back in from off the Atlantic, probably. Temperature anomalies from the 20th to the 28th of April, below average. We're not alone. Most parts of Europe is uh, cooler than normal as well. Where was all of that? Back in the winter, um, answers on a postcard. And uh, precipitation anomalies from the 20th, 28th of April, drier than average in western regions, but nearer normal further east. The latest wind from that from Earth, North School .net. So it's actually under an area of high pressure today. We haven't been on one of those for uh, quite some time. So we've got an area of high pressure sitting right across the country. Into that high pressure, we are pulling in some pretty cool air from the north of the northeast, though. So it is not a particularly warm area of high pressure. And that high pressure will be moving further northwest was again. <coughs> sorry, sorry, everybody. As we go into uh, next week, and that will bring colder air, or even cooler or colder air, uh, back in from the northeast as we go through next week. Check out weekend forecasts or about that. Right, so let's start going through the chart data then. Um, in South Asia's UK bet Europe run is looking for big night on Tuesday. High pressure way to the northwest and winds coming in from the north or a northeasterly direction. And that carries on through the middle part of next week as well. In fact, we bring in more of a northeasterly flow, so uh, possibly increasing risk of showers, especially so in the east. The temperatures will remain remain pretty subdued as well. The end of next week and next weekend starts to see the lower pressure then edging in from the Atlantic. So that's a set up by next Saturday. No pressure over and to the west and southwest of the country could be turning increasingly unsettled. I can't again that area of high pressure just to our west and northwest on Tuesday. In fact, we're bringing in more of a north or a north wind. Through Wednesday and into uh, Thursday, pressure beginning to weaken. And I can't want to bring that low pressure in actually by the end of next week. So by uh, midnight Friday, we've got low pressure starting to head in. Head in from off the Atlantic and into next weekend, where we get areas low pressure. Then, as we have had so many times over the past several months, anchored and rooted just to our southwest. So, looking increasingly unsettled by next weekend, with icons throwing up showers along the of rain. But one difference, though, is changing in wind direction, going much more to a southerly southwesterly. So, that will be uh, a milder wind direction. So, temperatures will lift up by next weekend, but price of pay is happy to turn. Much more unsettled. 
the KMA again will bring in that northeasterly flow through the middle part of the week. Could be some showery dish, especially in eastern regions, with that little area of low pressure sitting in the North Sea. Then high pressure starting to reach in for the Atlantic next weekend, settling things down, still quite chilly. As we head up towards day 10 and beyond, then low pressure starts coming in from the Atlantic. So KMA takes a little bit longer to move that low pressure in from the Atlantic, but by the beginning of May, we are back into rather unsettled weather yet again. GFS Midnight Run, once more with high pressure out to the west, bringing in this north, north easy wind as well. And that goes on for the middle part of the week as well. That north easy could bring showers into eastern regions. <coughs> so, sorry, once more, everybody, and some pretty cool temperatures as well. Into the weekend, got very slack gradients with GFS Midnight Run. So, no particular area of low pressure, just looking rather cool, probably quite cold, with a risk of further showers. Eventually, the GFS Midnight Run does start moving low pressure in. It happens around days 9 and 10. We start getting some low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. So, as we get into the beginning of May, then we do turn unsettled low pressure, bringing further wet weather back in. From the Atlantic, temperatures again probably lift up a little bit as the air comes from the Atlantic rather than um, from the north. Although by the 4th of May, May the 4th be with you, we're back into northerly or northeasterly winds again. So looking quite cold once more as we get into the beginning of May there and also very showery. The GFS 6M once more with high pressure weight to the northwest bringing that north northeasterly wind through the middle part of the week. Uh, the GFS 6 there then starts to move low pressure in quicker. So by uh, next weekend, by Saturday, we've got low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. That's bringing wet weather back in once again. That becomes really quite a major and significant area of low pressure, sitting just to our west and southwest by next Sunday, 28th of April. So looking very unsettled with that. Uh, quite a bit of rain could be expected. As I said, about day 10, the low pressure over northern France, high pressure around Iceland, with Winds are back in from the east once more. And then beyond that, just looking rather unsettled through the first week of May, low pressure wind further, about of rain. We do shift the wind round to a southerly road by the end of GFS uh, 6, which gets us to the 6th of May. Um, so it does turn mild after the first week of May, but still uh, looking unsettled or looking unsettled. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, and share, share, for doing that. Want to drop a comment? Let's know. What do you think about this and all of our videos and content? And don't forget to tell friends about guys and weather things. We thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Okay, GM, again, high pressure out to the west on Tuesday. And uh, winds in from a northerly or a northeasterly direction once more through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We keep the wind from the door. So cool, possibly quite cold, particularly at night. And at showery temperatures below average. Then into next weekend, lower pressure starts trying to come in from the Atlantic, but gets sent down towards France Biscay. So that could bring some wet weather into the south and west in particular. Then that low pressure pushes back northwards again. So by about day 9, 10, we could, we could start to bring some very wet weather up from the south with that. And same quite chilly with northeasterly winds. I have to say, these charts are looking pretty, pretty grim, aren't they? And where would all of these northerly and northeasterly Easy winds in the winter, I don't know. Um, ECM, again, with the wind in from the north, from the north east on Tuesday. And that carries on through Wednesday, Thursday, and into Friday as well. Gradually, by the end of the week, um, heights just generally lowering as well. So probably increasing risk of showers as we get into the second half of next week. And then this area of low pressure develops down to the southwest by Saturday. That starts to push northwards, possibly threatening some very wet weather in across England and Wales as we come towards months then. That's the scenario at day 10. It's not particularly inspiring. Last day of April finds us back under an area of low pressure. This is a precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from specshow.com. Uh, quite a bit of dry weather through, uh, through the next few days, but by the time we get through to um, Monday, we could see some quite wet weather developing in the central and eastern regions. Um, not that rain's light, but it could be some heavy bursts mixed in, and it could be a very cold day. Some parts of the Midlands, Wales, Northern England, actually, for time of year on um, Monday. So that's something to watch out for. Further shower risks into the east as we go through into the middle part of the week. It could be a little bit wintry over high ground in the northeast 
And they'll start moving this wet weather in from the Atlantic. So as we get through the next weekend, we've got bands of rain. So I'm starting to push back in from the south and from the southwest with showers uh, coming along as well. So showers and or longer spells of rain. These are the options on the tables in the ECM ensembles today for data. Gets us to the 30th of April. 16 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to the north, lower pressure is to the south and to the southwest. We've got uh, 13. Again, high pressure is to the north and to the east, and also to some degree to south, some low pressure in the Atlantic. We've got uh, another 13 with high pressure away to the northeast, lower pressure out in the Atlantic once again. And then we've got nine, including the operational run, with high pressure to the north and to the east, low pressure down to the southwest. So that's bringing up more of a southerly flow. It would be milder by day 10, but uh, rather showery potentially. And then in two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got. It will get us to the 5th of May. 18 members of the ECM on soils with high pressure just to the north of Scotland. Should be main dry, but could be a little bit on the chilly side with winds in the east of the northeast. 15 with lower pressure in the Atlantic. Not particularly low pressure, but lower pressure. And then we've got 11 with genuine low pressure dominating the weather. Um, those 11 looking very unsettled. We've got 7 with low pressure to the south and the east. High pressure is out to the north and west. So that is showering and quite cool or even cold with winds in from a northerly or a northeasterly direction. And then CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar height and not breaking down into weekly peers. The first week peer will take us from the 20th, 26th of April. The next week we'll have low pressure to the south and the east. High pressure will be away to the north and west. And winds will be coming in from a northeasterly direction. So motion settles in the south and east, dry and northwest and cool temperatures. Week two will be the 27th of April to the 3rd of May. Again, low pressure. To the south and the east, high pressure to the west to the northwest. Winds again coming in from a northeasterly direction. Cool and showery with that one. Week three, you see the change. It's the four, the 10th of May. High pressure there is back in close to the country, mostly dry. Um, but still with like east north east winds, could be a little bit on the cool side still, even then. And then finally, week four. Um, no, just weakening pressure, really. Low pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure to our south. Uh, that's the Azores high. That's looking a little bit displaced away from us. Probably just a change back to rather showering conditions again, actually, into the second half of May. Long way off, though, so we shall see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. And show you everyone for doing that. Want to drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of the other content. And don't forget to tell friends about guys. Well, this get them to subscribe to. And we thank you so much, everyone, for uh, doing that. Right, just tell us how we're on the channel tomorrow. We're going to have a six M UK weather forecast. We're going to have the next update for summer, and that could be an outside of the box special from our good friend Richard Shaw. So very interesting um, summer update to come tomorrow. And if all of that wasn't, uh, wasn't enough, we are going to be live as well at 6pm with the 10 14 day. And as it's a Sunday live stream, we'll include some long range also. So uh, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. For this one though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.